الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله إن الحمد لله نحمده سبحانه ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير اللهم اقسم لنا من خشيتك ما تحول به بيننا وبين معصيتك ومن طاعتك ما تبلغنا به جنتك ومن اليقين ما تهون به علينا مصائب الدنيا ومتعنا اللهم بأسماعنا وأبصارنا وقواتنا ما أحييتنا واجعله الوارث منا واجعل ثأرنا على من ظلمنا وانصرنا اللهم على من عادانا ولا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل الدنيا أكبر همنا ولا مبلغ علمنا ولا تسلط علينا بذنوبنا من لا يخافك ولا يرحمنا يا رب العالمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم إن زلزلة الساعة شيء عظيم يوم ترونها تذهل كل مرضعة عما أرضعت وتضع كل ذات حمل حملها وترى الناس سكارى وما هم بسكارى ولكن عذاب الله شديد وأصلي وأسلم على المبعوث رحمة العالمين سيدنا محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه وعنا معهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most compassionate, the most merciful, all praise and thanks are due to him and peace and blessings be upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He who is guided by the will of Allah, no one can misguide him. And he who is misguided, no one can guide him except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. Assalamu alaikum, respected brothers and sisters in Iman. The honor of being a Muslim at times when humanity is searching for a solution. This is the title. We must realize the status of honor for the fact you are a practicing Muslim when humanity, all the people, are searching for solutions. Why I'm saying that? We can't avoid making benefit of what we are living now because every single per individual on earth now is aware of what's happening. Now, just to control the time because of the limitations, when I started writing or thinking and composing the idea, the first thing came to my mind is the very well-known part of a verse of a 
poem وفي الليلة الظلماء يفتقد البدر in the very dark nights people miss the full moon when they are in the full darkness they will realize how important not a light small star full moon <laughs> there's big difference between a star which is just a small dot and the full moon big difference why i'm saying that just go with me i wanted to control myself in my words i wrote everyone is witnessing the collapse of humanity now what so called humanity in political and social and media level the collapse of big slogans the collapse of universally claimed values there is a vacuum now there is what a vacuum in social and political and media arena in general vacuum فراغ طب how did this vacuum happen people discovered how hypocrisy has been prevailed and dominant for tens of years because many people they are so nice by the way they have a good nice heart but simply they are brainwashed for tens of years by the will of Allah because Allah willed now there's a golden opportunity and somehow Allah decided by his way to uncover the veil from the eyes of tens and hundreds of millions of people. So people are, dis they have discovered, still discovering, yet to discover a lot of <laughs> many things. So I'm saying, people discovered how hypocrisy has been prevailed and dominant for tens of years. How big slogans were just empty words. United Nations, Security Council, big parliaments, mainstream media. When, you, when people in general say United Nations, say, yes, sir, United Nations. You know, universal values. People, they know that it's just empty words. Wallahi billahi tallahi. If we Muslims or oppressed people decided to make a media campaign we might be in need for trillions not billions to convince the people that those these slogans are just empty words we can't convince them because no, they are just uh, you know extremists backward <laughs> you know he will not believe but allah decided to let them witness and to let them believe without any efforts from you and me it's by the sacrificing of a small group of people in Palestine. <laughs> Subhanallah. By the will of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But let's continue. United Nations Security Council, big parliaments, mainstream media, they did not just fail to stop humanitarian crisis or genocide and ethnic cleansing. Actually, many of them, they were supporting all the time and the people they were witnessing. And by the way, just when you go to the history, I believe in the history, the near history, a lot of more disasters happened, but no one was able to witness or to record or to stream live. I repeat, what happened in Hama in Syria about 40 years ago, 10 times more than what's happening in Gaza now. 10 times, but no one recorded, except the regime itself, <laughs> for themselves. No one witnessed. Rohingya, Muslims in India, Chechenia, Bosnians, Serbia and Bosnia, just 1995. United Nations admitted the existence of official four rape camps. United, when I say United Nations, when United Nations admits something just by default, multiply it by three or four as a reality. When they admit, United, go and search. Just to make sure about the statistics that I'm telling you, United Nations admitted that 260,000 Muslim Bosnian women, quarter million, they were raped systematically in four rape camps under the cover of the United Nations. 
They were surrounding Serbia. Srebrenica alone, 7,000. Massive grave, 7,000 in the middle of Europe. But no one recorded, no one was streaming live. So what is the new now? By the will of Allah, <laughs> okay? It's exposed. <laughs> but my, my point, I'm saying, people, now after all of this, because Allah forced them to witness, I'm talking about the majority of brainwashed, and many of them, they are nice, good people, but simply they don't know. After all of this, humanity woke up. Okay. We were, let's, I'm thinking, I'm putting myself in, in, in the place of those people. We were lied to. We have been cheated. We've been brainwashed. By a, here comes the very serious moment and big question. Do you know what is it? I'm trying to think to put myself in their foot. They discovered. Like what's next? What is the alternative? <laughs> Even if you discover, by the way, even if you discover, and there is no alternative, so what's the point? Go and drink, forget. That's it. Class. Oh, you discovered that such and such. Okay. No alternative. What's the point? Go and have a dose of weed, drugs, drink alcohol with your close friends, forget it, and go to sleep. And that's it. But when you discover an alternative, by default, you will start thinking to go to consider the alternative. Taib. <laughs> what is the alternative? Islam. It's a full system. To know, just to understand those people of power, how they think. <laughs> it's not just a group of people in conflict. No, 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 no. The story is much, much, much bigger than you think. When people wake up about the reality that there is a truth Look how Allah made them walk up. Type. Now, as we can witness, the most and powerful impact, they were impressed. How do those group of people, i.e. the people of Gaza, were able to attain or to have this patience against this kind of brutal attack and killing? A man came from the rebels, he has lost 60 of his families, the first thing they say, Alhamdulillah. What? <laughs> Alhamdulillah for what? <laughs> so a non-Muslim, a non-Arab, a non-believer, an agnostic, an atheist, a secular or whatever, it's mind-blowing for him. 60 of your families, your father, your mother, your father, your wife, your kids, everything. The whole of your building, everything you've done, just lost and say, Alhamdulillah. Are you crazy? No, he's not crazy, Habibi. He's a believer. But I'm a believer as well. Okay, but you believe in something else. I have another product, Habibi. You believe in liberalism. You believe how your ego should be worshipped. I believe in God Almighty. Hereafter, reward, Jannah, period. So my product is the full moon. Your product is the small star. <laughs> So I have an alternative, much more bigger than yours. It's a very simple equation, by the way. I'm not speaking philosophy, by the way. <laughs> Wallahi, I'm not, it's not a philosophy. I'm just trying to analyze what's happening. But why I'm standing before you to say what I'm saying? You are the alternative. <laughs> okay, they discovered. People there, May Allah accept their martyrs and everything they have covered. But what's next? We have humans of tens and hundreds of millions. They are searching for the truth. You, I, we, supposed to be holding the truth. But what's next? What's next? Let me tell you at least what I think very quickly in the meditation of time. So they need, I say, it is only the true pure revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is Islam. Those very people who discovered the truth of of being in a false path need what they need, which should be us. They need honest, proud, practicing followers of the alternative. Common sense. They discovered false lies, hypocrisy. Oh, there's an alternative. This is the title of the alternative. X, Y, Z, Islam. They claim it. So let's come to the followers. We. Are they honest? Tick. Yes or no? <laughs> 
practicing genuinely? Yes or no? <laughs> Real genuine? Yes, no, yes, no. If many of they are witnessing, it's no, 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 no. Another false alternative. Go and drink and sleep. <laughs> If most of them, in many cases, yes, 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 alhamdulillah, they will consider, and maybe they will be better than me and you. And it happened. Abu Hurair radiallahu anhu became a Sahabi in a very late age of Islam. But what he did for Islam, yani those who attended the Hajj with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa According to the narrations of the Seerah, they were around, they attended about 120,000. How many of them we know by names? If we collected now every single individual, including myself and your respected selves, the names that we memorize and we recognize about the Sahaba, maybe collectively we can collect 100 out of one, 120,000. One of the top of them, narrators, Rawi al-Islam, Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira, he became a Muslim, you know, after a ta'if. Very late, in the last maybe 10% of the age of Islam. But he became one of the greatest. The other 120,000, we don't know anything about them. They are in the books. The experts, they know them. Usdul Ghaba, Fi Sirat al-Sahaba, Sirat Alam al-Nubala, big books for just specialists. We don't know them. I myself, I'm not an expert in this. But Abu Huraira, we know him. So we don't know. Maybe some of the people around us might be like Abu Huraira for Islam compared with you and me. That's why we need to be ready now. We are the alternative. They need to see those who believe in this system and they practice it and they are proud of it. You must be proud. If they don't see you as a proud Muslim, the vibe of pride should be always like, you know, you know, you know the Wi-Fi? When you go to a place and it contains a Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi contains broadcasting and spreading 24 seven. When you decide to open your device, the Wi-Fi is there. The broadcasting of any TV channel, any radio, is broadcasting 24-7. When you decide to open your channel, the broadcasting is there. <laughs> so Allah gifted humanity by a disaster. Gifted. <laughs> they are martyrs, don't worry about them. But we have another 8 billions. They know nothing. Including many Muslims, by the way, <laughs> who said that all Muslims understand Islam. Many Muslims, they don't understand Islam. Many Muslims. So Allah opened the eyes. Surah, people of the Masajid, you are the alternative. Be a proud Muslim. Practice Islam. Speak about it. Live it. <laughs> Let the vibe. Subhanallah. Uh, while I was preparing, one of the examples came to my mind, which could be a very strong example. You use it, or I use it to convince you how important the topic is. Zoom application. Go just before Corona. Who on earth heard about Zoom except the very technicians and experts? What is Zoom? By the way, I myself was preparing to do some kind of Islamic studies courses here in this masjid before Corona. And was planning to bring ulama of Sharia and we're planning to put about 10 to 30% online because people, they are not interested in online. And I was doing a research before Uma, and I found at least 10 applications, 10 times better than Zoom. <laughs> Zoom is nothing, subhanAllah. Allah willed something called Corona. One of the things that we did not witness by the will of Allah Hundreds of millions, they were forced to stay at homes. Suddenly, they need an alternative. Zoom, simple, humble application, it was ready, it was there. Already programmed, <laughs> already uploaded, and it's there. Once millions, they need it, harder, we are ready. They jumped from being a simple, humble, competing with tens of other applications, they became application number one used by billions, not millions. SubhanAllah. 
لا إله إلا الله. This is a human example. This is exactly how we should be. Allah wills by His wisdom sometimes catastrophes, disasters, big tests. Regardless who did it, how did it happen, when, why, forget this. It happened. Boom! Eyes are uncovered. People are ready, looking for the lights. The light should be there. <laughs> if the light is not there, the opportunity has been missed. Look how simple it is. This is my message. The patience of the people of Gaza made them asking about the power behind this patience and then reverted to Islam. And you see many, many examples. Now, type. Let me finish with this quick, quick example. What kind of alternative people need to see? Simple question, to make it simple, because we have a lot of kids and youth. Focus on the needs of humanity. Focus on the area where people are suffering. Simple question. If I claim that one of the top areas of suffering for humanity, for example, murder, alcohol, gambling, Rape, prostitution, assault. Am I exaggerating? But that's true. <sighs> Broken families. 100% we agree. Type. Who has the full solution for all these troubles? Just Islam. <coughs> Who on earth, I said it many times, if you asked an atheist, an unbeliever, a liberal, would you love to live a life you have full assurance that your wife will not cheat you. Do you think he will say, no, I don't want? He say, yeah, I, I love it, by nature. <laughs> Ask any woman on earth, liberal, secular, feminine, whatever. Would you, would you love to live a life? You have a full assurance your husband will not cheat you. Do you think she will say, no, I don't want? Type. If you ask, any wife on earth, east, west, north, south, do you feel happy for the fact that your husband might come drunk at any time and start beating you and your children and destroy the house? Next morning, he will start regretting and crying after he destroyed everything and every time after regretting and crying, he will come back again because he is drinking. And you can't stop him because this is the culture of people on earth. You can't stop alcohol, but Islam does not tolerate, because it's not your choice, by the way. <laughs> by the way, I repeat, I said many times, Wallahi, if it's our choice, if Allah left dealing with alcohol to be an option according to our needs, I swear by Allah, I myself, for political reasons, for maslaha, for interests, for pushing our image, we will find a solution logically, psychologically, historically, to produce alcohol for the sake of economic benefits. We will find, don't worry, we Muslims, we will do it. <laughs> but subhanAllah, this is the importance of the divine system. Divine system, neither you or me, not even the direct son or daughter of Prophet Muhammad, if he's still alive, has the right to interfere in saying, no, 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 alcohol could be permissible. No, Habibi. <laughs> no one. Even if all Muslim scholars, for whatever reason, they decided to become crazy now, and they said, we think alcohol is okay. We, normal Muslim, we say, we think you are crazy. Go and sleep and ask forgiveness from Allah. No one, no one can play this game with Islam. Prostitution, gambling, interest, usury, cheating, zina, porno, industry, all of this will stop. People will benefit or not? Definitely they will benefit, even if they are atheists. This is what I mean by the alternative. <laughs> Wallahi, and you are the alternative. You should be the living alternative. So please prepare yourself. And remember the Zoom. Consider yourself the Zoom in Corona. Astaghfirullah, <laughs> 
واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير respected brothers and sisters i want to finish my khutbah with, with the following message time is passing part of the system of allah part of the universal laws sunan al kawniyah where allah is controlling and ruling his universe what we call in islamic terminology iqamatul hujja to establish an argument which means to leave no space for any excuse for anyone to be excused yani allah i'm facing difficulties ya allah you know la yukallifu allah nafsa illa wus'aha but what about la yukallifu allah illa nafsa illa ma ataha these two verses let's finish with it people they tend always to use la yukallifu allah nafsan illa wus'aha allah will not make any soul accountable if they can't afford to do something which is good it's an excuse allah is giving us the tranquility when you have no ability you can't afford it you are excused but there's another ayah la yukallifu allah nafsan illa ma ata which means allah will hold accountable everyone for what he has given him or her has allah given us peace of mind yes money yes political power yes media yes internet yes time yes scholarships yes good houses yes heating yes okay ac yes cars yes 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 two languages none of us but speak but speaks two languages at least and some of us three some of us four because of the nature of this country most of us we are immigrants visitors we have already our native language and we use the second language so the minimum of us each one of us has a double power some of your kids three languages <laughs> peace of mind طبعا do we have many of us we have savings yes so this is part of what allah atana <laughs> so we have the peace of mind to think to plan to support to speak to spread to discuss to argue to put some efforts <laughs> to invite okay to debate But I, I don't know it's up to you depending on your uh, your situation depends what kind of power or what kind of bounties ni'am minah Allah has given you but please be careful our topic is now the importance of being a proud muslim and the honor of being muslim when humanity faces you know this kind of disasters they are looking for the alternative you must and i must be the alternative by the way because there's no other alternative in the deen in the law period we know it but the majority of people on earth they don't know it it's my role and your role to let them know it by details not just generally the general idea the blowing of the mind the initiative has been done by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala next is part of the test allahumma arhamna fawq al ard وتحت الارض ويوم العرض عليك يا كريم اللهم ارحم شهداءهم وداوي جرحاهم واشف مرضاهم وتجاوز عنهم وصبرهم وثبتهم يا رب العالمين وارحمنا يا الله يا كريم فوق الارض وتحت الارض ويوم العرض عليك يا الله يا رحيم اللهم ارحمنا وارحم والدينا والد والدينا واصحاب الحقوق والواجبات علينا يا كريم يا رحيم اللهم كن معنا ولا تكن علينا يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا عبيدك أبناء عبيدك أبناء إمائك نواصينا بيدك ماض فينا حكمك عدل فينا قضاءك نسألك بكل اسم هو لك سميت به نفسك وأنزلته في كتابك أو علمته أحدا من خلقك أو استأثرت به في علم الغيب عندك أن تجعل قرآنا عظيما ربيع قلوبنا وجلاء أحزاننا وذهاب همومنا وغمومنا يا رب العالمين Before we ask the brother to start the dua I want just to pay your attention to an initiative It's called Re- Connect. I will read very quickly. Reconnect is part of Seeds of Leadership program funded by Islamic Relief and Dar Foundation. It is a project done by a youthful group of young future leaders. Reconnect is about a family kit. It's a kit in the back, which helps the families bond and reconnect together. The aim is for families. Please listen now. The aim of this free kit that has been designed and worked for months for it 
with a special group of youth leaders. The aim of this kit for families who have two or more children, age ranging from six to 15, to bond and spend time together through the items that we have in the kit, especially in these holidays. The kit contains a family journal, card game, coloring book, profit storybook, a family agenda. All items have further instructions on them. Please, if you are eligible, if you have a family with two kids and more, aging from six to 15, and you are interested to be, to receive a free kit that has an effort of about six months of a group of working, designing, thinking, collecting, doing, applying, and bringing it to here, and it's supported by Adar, Jazakumullah Khairan. Go and register there with the sisters when we finish. Back, inshallah, if you are eligible, they will give you and take your details because they want to do follow-up. It's designed how to let the family reconnect, to leave the internet, to leave the social media, and start playing Islamic games in a very fun way to fix concepts. So if you are interested and eligible, Please speak with the sisters when finished. Jazakumullah khair wa akhirna salah.